Hello friends. Welcome to my new Glassfish application server tutorial series video. Today, I will teach you, how to create and set up, JMSQ and topic in Glassfish application server. Friends. Glassfish server provides an application server for the development and deployment of Java EE applications. In my previous tutorial, I discussed how to create and set up JMS connection factory, by Glassfish deployment descriptor file and through admin console. I will be using these connection factories in subsequent videos. The link to my previous video is provided in description below. Friends. The Java Message Service API, provides a mechanism for Java EE applications to send messages to each other. JMS applications do not communicate directly. Message producers send messages to a destination, and message consumers receive that message from the destination. The destination is a queue, if message communication is point to point between producer and consumer. And The destination is a topic, if message communication is point subscribe, that is producer sends messages to many consumers simultaneously. In order to create and set up JMSQ, we have to perform few steps. Go to resources node in the left hand side of admin console. It has a JMS resources tab. Click on it. In the main area of admin console, it shows two nodes such as connection factories and destination resources. Click on destination resources. In order to create a new queue, click on new button. It opens a page where we can configure new JMS destination resource. In order to create a new JMS queue, we have to mandatory provide JNDI name to our queue. This name is important, as JMSQ will be referenced by this name. Let's provide a JNDI name to it. Usually, all the JMS resources are created with JMS slash as prefix. It helps in identifying JMS resources among other resources created on server. After slash, provide a name as, my, Q. It also asks for mandatory physical destination name. Provide a name to it as, my queue. It is the actual physical destination queue name. Below physical destination name, there is a resource type row. It describes about the types of destinations JMS supports. We choose jobax.jms.q. It helps us in configuring a JMS queue. As it is our first JMS queue, we provide an optional description as My first JMS queue. Keep status as Enabled. Click on OK. Thus, our first JMS queue gets created. Now let's perform same steps to create a JMS topic. Click on new button. It opens a page where we can configure, new JMS destination resource. In order to create a new JMS topic, we have to mandatory provide JNDI name to our topic. This name is important, as JMS topic will be referenced by this name. Let's provide a JNDI name to it as JMS slash my topic. It also asks for mandatory physical destination name. Provide a name to it as my topic. It is the actual physical destination topic name. Below physical destination name, there is a resource type row. It describes about the types of destinations JMS supports. We choose jobax.jms.topic. It helps us in configuring a JMS topic. As it is our first JMS topic, 
we provide an optional description as my first topic keep status as enabled click on ok thus our first JMS topic gets created moving ahead friends we can also create a new JMS destination resource from NetBeans IDE and Glassfish server deployment descriptor file. Let's see how. In my previous tutorial, I have demonstrated how to create connection factory through this way. Let's create new JMS destination resource through NetBeans IDE and Glassfish server deployment descriptor file. Go to root of web application, right click new and click on other. New file dialog box gets open. In the categories list, select Glassfish and select JMS resource in the file types list. Click Next. New JMS resource dialog box gets open. Provide a JNDI name, which we discussed earlier. Here, I provide name as JMS slash my NetBeans queue. Below I provide description as My first NetBeans queue Below there is a list of resources types, which we discussed earlier. We will select, javax.jms.q Click Next Properties section of new JMS resource dialog box gets open. It mandatory asks for name property value. Provide a value as My NetBeans queue and hit enter. Click finish. Thus, new definition for my NetBeans queue gets created in the Glassfish resources.xml file. Let's move ahead and perform same steps to create a new JMS topic. Go to root of web application. Right click new and click on other. New file dialog box gets open. In the categories list, select Glassfish and select JMS resource in the file types list. Click next. New JMS resource dialog box gets open. We will select javax.jms.topic as the resource type. Provide a JNDI name as JMS slash my NetBeans topic. Below I provide description as my first NetBeans topic. Click next. Properties section of new JMS resource dialog box gets open. It mandatory asks for name property value. Provide a value as My NetBeans topic and hit enter. Click finish. Thus, new definition for my NetBeans topic gets created in the Glassfish resources.xml file. In order to create these resources into Glassfish server, we have to build and deploy this application on Glassfish server. Right click on my JMS web application module and select deploy option. After web application gets deployed, it will create JMS resource on Glassfish server. Let's go to admin console. Refresh JMS resources by clicking on it and going to destination resources. It displays entry for my NetBeans queue and my NetBeans topic. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to create and set up, JMS queue and topic in Glassfish application server, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.